Hey guys, this is Daniel Spencer, and uh, I'm not one to beat around the bush or anything, so this is just a direct uh, response to Henry and his video. I want to I want to cover a couple things real quick. Uh, it's obvious to me and several other people that uh, the the talk about the co witness scene was directed toward me and my videos. Um, I'm not trying to be mean, but based off of your comments and stuff I've seen, you do not understand sighting, and that's okay. I didn't understand FSC regulators and still don't near as good as you, but I didn't even know the first thing about them until I watched your videos. Um, but here's the thing. The difference is I'm learning from you, uh, not discounting you. Uh, I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't do this right here if it wasn't for the fact of that you're a leader in this community and you're making statements about something and dismissing it and saying that something has no practical use uh, because you don't understand how it works. Okay, you say, and agree, again, you do say that it's your personal preference to flip your front side up, and that's not what this is about. This is a side note. If you wanna flip your front side up and look through it, that's fine, who cares? But without the back sight, the front sight means nothing. So I just wanna make sure that the people in the community understand that you do not need to reference your red dot with your front sight whatsoever. When you co-witness, you flip up both sights and you're just making sure that when you sight with your front and your rear, that your red dot is also in line and on the target. So the red dot and the front and rear sight should all be in line when you flip them up. There's no reason whatsoever that you're gonna go around shooting like that. Now, somebody who thinks you shoot like that would think it is not practical. You don't shoot like that. But yet, if you're flipping your front sight up anyway, then that's in your way. Well, you say that's for a better sight picture. People literally buy flip up and flip down sights to flip them down to get a better sight picture. A sight picture is what you see through your sight. You're putting a thing in front of your sight that you don't need there. It's pointless because your red dot has no reference whatsoever. So it's kind of misleading. Um, when you say that, that co-witnessing, you know, uh, it's debatable, it's not debatable. As, I'm sure there are people that are watching this that can comment of uh, uh, soldiers, special forces, professional shooters, whatever. There's people that are following me that I have taught combat handgun courses to. There are people following me that I've shot with for over 25 years. I know sites. It's not, there's, no, there's nothing about that debatable and the usefulness of it is not really debatable. Um, it, I, like I've said in other videos, you don't have to do it. And you guys weren't even talking about co-witnessing and stuff until I started talking about it. It's something that I've done for decades. It's not, it's not a new thing, but don't discount it if you don't understand it. Co-witnessing is simply a means when you set up your rifle to ensure that you have a backup sighting system that is sighted in. Why would, why would you sight in your red dot, okay, then take it off or whatever, uh, and then sight in your iron sights and then put it back on. Or flip up your iron sights, sight those in, flip them down, put on the red dot, and then sight it in. Why would you do that? You co-witness, okay? You sight in one or the other. When you get it sighted in, then you look through them together and move the one you didn't sight in to where they match. Then you fold those suckers down out of your way. So you're saying that something is not practical and you're actually making yourself do the part that would make it not practical for no reason whatsoever. So that's kind of confusing. And you're a leader in this community and I know a lot of people are watching your stuff and uh, probably a whole lot more than will see this and that's fine. But please, like, I mean, by the way, your, your, uh, your sling, this part of your sling goes toward the back of the rifle and this part would be in the front, okay? So when you want to change it from a two point to a one point, I've used these for, I don't know, I don't even know that long. Uh, you take this part off, hook it to this, right? So it's hooked at the back of your rifle. So it's gonna be like this and your rifle will hang like a single point sling. The way you have it in your video, if you converted it to a single point, your rifle would be pointing up at your head. You, it would be hanging and pointing up at your head. And I just wanted to point that out. Um, but I'm sure that the position of slings are available too, but, um, I, I'm not, I, I know I'm being a smart ass and I'm not trying to be, but it, it just kind of, it kind of ticked me off, um, because 
I just know, you know, people look at you and I know my, I know my areas that I know. I'm not going to get out there and act like that you may or may not know what you're talking about on regulators or something like that. But I guarantee you that I have been involved in competition shooting, like hardcore shooting for probably two or three times longer than most of these people have even heard of less lethal. I mean, this is a pretty, you know, this is a pretty new thing. The stuff that I'm bringing to the table, the stuff that I will put out there and try to help it, it's because I'm not, you don't see me making these instructional videos. I did like one because people kept asking me to, but I don't like doing it. And I've said that I don't like doing it because what am I doing but regurgitating something that I get from you guys? There's no point in that, but, but please, I mean, <laughs> if you're going to discount something, understand it. And I really don't feel that you understand it. Um, I would love, I would love, and I've told you this, I would love to, to get up with you and, and I, I could make you a, a mean shooter. I really could and would love to do it. But you got, you got to understand the sights and stuff. It's cool if you don't, but, but please don't discount my knowledge and, and my stuff until you, you know, have a reason to.